Here I have a seesaw, and we're going to pit two people of different weight, one on this side and the other one on this side. Now notice it's not balanced. It was balanced before. It doesn't matter if you jump up and down. How would you balance this? Let's pause for a little bit and think about what you could do besides adding more weight to one side. Well, if I walk forward a little, I change my distance from the fulcrum, and I can find that exact distance that creates a balance point. Now, I could do this also by moving the fulcrum. I just chose to walk forward, and I've got it. Now, there's actually some mathematical calculations I can do to figure out the exact distance I need to balance. We're going to look at a few examples using a ruler that I just taped over and I made the center zero and then I measured in centimeters on the left and on the right from that zero. I attached it to a clip and hung it on a pencil. Then I created some weights. Each weight is 50 grams. You can see there I've measured, it's right at the 50. And we're gonna look at two of them and you can see that 50 grams at 20 centimeters balances with 50 grams at 20 centimeters. Now, I can add more weight to one side. I added two 50s, and you can see now when both of them are located at five centimeters, they don't balance. Is there a way that we can balance that just by changing the distance to the fulcrum? Well, indeed there is. If I put the 50 grams at 10 centimeters and the 100 grams at five centimeters, I can see it balanced. Do you notice anything about the weights and the distance? This time, let's look at three weights. So I have a total of 150 grams versus 50 grams, trying to balance it out. Make a prediction of what you think you would do. Notice the left-hand side is further down. So now we've got it balanced. We've gone five centimeters over for the 150, and we've gone 15 centimeters over for the 50. So we've got our distances there. And if we look at our weights, we have 50 grams here and 150 here. Now you may have a theory about how this pattern works when we're calculating the distance and the weight of different objects and trying to balance it. Let's take a look at another example. Now this time, let's look at three weights, 350 gram weights, so 150, versus 100. How are we going to balance that? So with a little bit of trial and error, we can move the light weights further from the lighter weight, further from the fulcrum. So when they're at 15 and the heavier 150 grams is over at 10 centimeters, we have it balanced. So let's take a look at our weights. Is there another way to balance this? Well, it turns out yes. If we have a distance right here, of 22.5 and a distance here of 15, we have them balanced. Now, how did I get 22.5? If you haven't noticed the pattern yet, let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now, if we take the distance on the left-hand side and we look at the weight, which is our 100 grams here, and we multiply them, we find that that's equal to the distance on the right-hand side multiplied by the weight. So we have 2,250 centimeter grams equals 2,250 centimeter grams. And since there's centimeter grams on both sides, 
we can say 2,250 equals 2,250. Are there other ways to do this? Could we use different distances with our 350 grams versus our 250 grams? So 150 grams versus 100 grams. Are there other distances that we'll also balance? There are. So if we look at this distance of 7.5 and this distance of 5, we can see that when we multiply the weight by the distance, it's the same on both sides. We're going to look at an interactive simulation from the University of Colorado. Now in this simulation, we are using mass instead of weight. Now weight is just mass times the effect of gravity. And so the mass is going to work in the same manner as our weight did as far as being equal on both sides when you multiply it by the distance from the fulcrum. And that's because we're on Earth and gravity is affecting both of those objects in the same way. We're going to show the ruler and we're going to balance two objects. So we're going to balance this 10 kilogram trash can with a 0.5 distance from the fulcrum and also this 5 kilogram fire hydrant. And we need to figure out where we're going to put that fire hydrant. Well if we take 10 kilograms times 0.5 we get five, and so we know we have to locate that fire hydrant at five times whatever would make that five, which is one. So we place it at one, and we remove it, and we see that it balances. Now let's go ahead and try the game. So click on game, and let's go with setting two, and we'll go ahead and start that. And it's asking us to balance this. Now we have five kilograms here, and we have 10 kilograms. We're going to show our rulers so we can see the distances. So if I multiply the 5 kilograms times the distance, which is 1, I know that that's got to equal the other side. I have 10 kilograms on that side, and so I've got to balance that by turning that into a total of 5. And I can do that by multiplying by a half or 0.5. So that's where I'm going to place it. In this next problem, I'm asked to find the mass of this bottle. Now I notice it's located at one meter. If I can find where this five kilogram mass balances the other side, then I will have enough information I can find the mass of the bottle. So I'm going to take the five kilogram mass and I'm going to see if it balances at one and it doesn't. It makes it go down. So I'm going to move it closer to the fulcrum at 0.5 meters. And I find that yes, it does balance. So let's try using an algebraic representation for our problem. Our distance 1 times our weight 1, and actually we're using mass this time, so they really should be m's instead of w's. But let's go ahead and let w equal mass, and then we're all set. We've just got to remember that our w actually represents our mass in this case. So let's go ahead and substitute the distances in. On the left we have a distance of 1 meter, and on the right we have a distance of 0.5 meters. And we're going to multiply it by the mass. On the right we have 5 kilograms, and on the left we don't know. So we'll use x here. Uh, we could use w1 for our mass 1, or we could use m1. So then 1x is equal to 0.5 times 5, and that gives me 2.5 kilograms, because our distance, meters, is the same on both sides and makes a 1. Next problem. Again, what is the mass? Well, I can look and see what I've got here. I've got my 7.5 kilograms. I can see where it will cause my tire to balance. And I want to know what is the mass of my tire. Well, I know my distances are 0.5. The tire is 0.5 meters away. And the distance of my block is 1 meter times my mass, and remember we're representing W1 as my mass, and that's equal to 1 times the mass, which is 7.5 kilograms. And I can either divide by 1 half or by 0.5, which is the same thing, or multiply by 2, the reciprocal of 1 half, on both sides. On the left-hand side, I get 1 times W1, which is my mass, representing my mass, equals 7.5 times 2. I do the multiplication and I have 15 kilograms. 
Now I had meters on both sides, so if I divide both sides by meters, I just get a one, so I only have the kilogram unit. I'm gonna get another smiley. Let's try our last example. It's asking us to balance this 30 gram, kilogram girl. And what I need to do is figure out the right distance to put her at. So the distance of my block is two meters. I wanna know the distance of my girl. And the mass of my block is 7.5. The mass of my girl is 30 kilograms. And I can divide both sides by 30. Well, let's do this math first. So 2 times 7.5 is 15. And D2 represents my distance of the girl. I can divide by 30 or I can multiply by the reciprocal. 1 30th on both sides. 15 over 30 and D2 times 30 over 30, that gives me a 1. 30 over 30 is a 1. And 15 over 30, if I reduce that fraction, gives me 1 half. So my D2, my distance, is 1 half of a meter, or 0.5 meters. This time I have kilograms on both sides. So when I divide by kilogram, I get 1. So I'm just left with meters. I can put her at 0.5 meters, check my answer, and voila, balanced. She's pretty close to the fulcrum. A lot, like I am. Oh, back a little. Oh, nope, forward a little. Oh, nope, back a little. Got it.